How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be troubleshooting some problems you guys had on my video that I made a while back um, entitled how to port forward your bucket slash Minecraft server. So um, first of all the biggest question a lot of you guys had is I did everything correctly and no one can connect. Clearly you did not do everything correctly. Now I'm not trying to be mean or something but uh, make sure you check that um, you did do it correctly and that you saved all your changes and also make sure that um, for or at least for me when I unplug my router which of course you guys should do turn off your router because it is a piece of technology and it will overheat just like you don't leave your computer running 24-7 um, it normally speeds up your internet depending on what provider you have but anyways um, when I unplug my router and I plug it back in later um, it gives me or if I do it instantly it gives me a new IP. My the last digit of my IP will change to something else. Now it hops around to like four different numbers. Of course, it might di be different for you, but um, just make sure if that happens. If you do do that, you have to report forward it because most of the time, for me at least, when I go in, I only have to put in one digit um, on my. You know, when I go in and port forward it, I only have to put in one digit of my IP because everything else never changes. So. Um, yeah, make sure you do that correctly, and uh, make sure you always check that. So, if no one can connect to your server, that's probably why. Um, so, also another thing, people are saying when they type in their your their DNS, um, which we went over in the video. So, if you guys don't know what, if you guys don't know anything I'm talking about, check the video. There'll be a link on the screen. You guys can go check it out there. Um, people are saying when they use their DNS in their, or at least this one person, I'm gonna refer to one in general he says um this comes from mr skiddo 714 he says um when i put in the number in my web bar um this comes up oops google chrome could not connect to number 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 okay so and now he's referring to his dns and when he puts it in okay so if uh google chrome was giving you problems um try using a different browser such as firefox or something like that um, if you do type in your number and it doesn't come out, um, if it still says that and it doesn't recognize it, um, first be sure you're typing in your DNS and not your IP or any other, because especially on, um, the console, um, or the command prompt, my apologies, um, it doesn't prop, it doesn't make it clear, like there's no line across, so sometimes you can accidentally uh, put in another, uh, put in another thing so uh... sorry i'm really sick guys so if i uh... if i go into something else that's why um, but uh... sometimes yeah you can accidentally read another number than the actual number it is but just uh... remember to do that um, use a different browser and uh... the biggest problem is you guys might be um, not using the correct um, what where is I going with that? If you guys don't have your software installed for your router, most routers do come up come with a uh, a setup disk or install disk. Um, that's why uh, you can't you know um, you can't connect to it because there's nothing to connect to. The reason you have the DNS is so you don't have to put in the disk. Um, although some routers, I'm sure there are some, don't you use the DNS. So um, it's always good to have your disk around. So um, go ask your dad if you don't know where it is or ask your mom or whoever set it up for you. Step brother, I don't know. Go ask Geek Squad, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, just you know, find your disk, put it in your disk drive. Hopefully you have a disk drive. <laughs> Hopefully you have a disk drive. If you don't have a disk drive, I don't know what computer you're using and from what century it's from. But um, put it in your disk drive, run it, it might come up with a startup, you know, like an install because you don't have it on your computer, um, which is probably the reason why you're having that problem. Um, but uh, if it works, if it's installed, you might just not have it on there. Um, you might, I mean, you might not be able to connect to it with your DNS, which I'm sure is possible. So uh, just run your disk like for the longest time I didn't know I could connect my thing with the DNS so I always would have to dig up my disk and uh, do it that way so uh, that's that 
Um, now those are the two biggest things. If you guys have any questions uh, that I did not address in this video, uh, leave them in um, the comments below. Also, um, there's something that I'm going to address in my other how to um, fix your thing. But uh, I'll just address it now because I see someone asking it right here. Um, um, when I run the server, it says cannot find the path. Um, so, or it's running on another thing or something like that. When that happens, I, I tell this guy right here, re-download the server jar because, um, first of all, that's not going to do anything. It's not going to mess with any of your plugins unless you download an older version or newer version, depending on what server you're running for. Like, personally, 1.2 is out. I'm still using 1.1 because my plugins aren't updated. So if I were to go download a 1.2 beta, because there's not an official one out yet, and put it in there, it wouldn't work. So uh, make sure you get the right version that you're running with. But I told this guy the simple answer because I couldn't really explain it in the comments. But all you have to do... So I have my server right here, and if I double click it, it runs just fine, and it's going through all the plugins and stuff like that. Um, so it's good; it's good to go. And this server has like no plugins in it; it just has Voxel Sniper because I was just running with you know some stuff so I could test it out. But if I were you know the server's running here, if I um, on my Windows, um, of course I'm running Windows. If I do Control Shift Escape. Um, my uh, Windows Task Manager comes up, and this is all my tasks. Um, and if you guys don't know, if something crashes in your computer and you, it doesn't exit out properly, like I'm running Camtasia Studio right now. If I were to right-click on this and click In Process, the video would cut out right here, and uh, the application would close. That also works the same as applications. You can do that there too, but I'm going to show you processes. So uh, go over to Processes, and um, if the server isn't running and it still says it's already running, um, chances are it won't show up in the applications because it's technically not running, but it's running in the background for some reason, which happens to me sometimes. You just go into your processes, find java.exe, not Java W. If it's Java W, <laughs> if it's Java W, oh, uh, excuse me. Um, that's probably your Minecraft client. Um, let's just close this and open up my, my Minecraft client here. Okay. Okay, so I just clicked on. My, my Minecraft client is running in the background. As you can see, javaw.exe just popped up. If I were to close this, it went away. So um, we know that this right here, let's, uh, let's bring that up. Um, my server right here is java.exe. So if I were to right-click in process, yes, it ended. And uh, there we go. Um, but uh, I recommend you don't stop your server by doing that because I very well could have just jacked something up. I don't really care because that's not the server I normally would run on. But it won't jack it up if your server isn't properly running. So if it's not down here at the bottom thing, and uh, I can't really move this box around, but you get what I'm saying. If it's not running like as an application, if it's not in here, then but it isn't here, um, and you're still getting that error. It's, it'll be fine. You can end it, and it's not going to give you any problems. It won't mess up your world or anything like that. Um, but uh, just make sure that it's not actually running, and you should never end it that way. You should always type in stop, then hit enter, and don't exit out of the thing. Okay, but anyways, um, so that's the three biggest problems you guys had. Um, if you guys have any more, leave them in the comments below, and uh, I will probably put in a answer in the description. So before you leave a comment, make sure you... Uh, you leave it in the description. Um, also, another one is I can't find my virtual server. It very well might be not be called virtual server, and I left a link in the description. Uh, it's portforward.com. Uh, here, it'll teach you. It has like every single router ever created in there, so you guys can find exact ways to do it. Mine was just hopefully a helpful way to show you how. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I'm gonna go make a troubleshooting one for my other video on how to make a server but uh yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later